Think about all the kata you know and try and find where some of the moves of the more advanced kata appear in the Pinon series. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. What style do you practice? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say many of you practice a style that either has 5 Pinan kata or 5 Heian kata in it. Even if your style does not practice them, chances are you have at least heard of them at one point or other in your karate career. In this video I'll try and explain some of the facts surrounding these kata and answer some of the questions you may have about them. And if you stay until the last second, there will be another small surprise for your effort. So, the Pinan Kata. If you study Shotokan, Shitoryu or Wadoryu like me, you will be very familiar with them. Even if you don't practice Karate, but let's say Taekwondo or Tang Sudo, you will have done this very series but call it Pyongan or something that sounds like it. I'm not Korean. It won't be surprising if I tell you that this, is, uh, this series of Kata is one of the most commonly taught in the Karate world. And yet, they are often criticized for having too little combat of value. So, why do they continue to get taught all over the world? Why are these kata the first forms that are taught to begin in karateka? Even in styles where you begin with a series of kihon kata, you can't deny these are largely based on the embesen of the pinan kata. By the way, check out my video about embesen. It all started at the end of the 19th century, as usual. And as usual, Master Itosu was behind it. See, after the Meiji Restoration, the Japanese were in the mood for war, starting or continuing conflicts with China and later Russia. And in doing this, they were on the lookout for a reliable system to train and condition their soldiers. Karate, or Todi as it was then called in Okinawa, did not have the strict organization as it has today. No rules, no real tradition, and so on. In short, it was not yet suited for military use, even though the Okinawans were in exemplary health when they got their medical examinations. It also saw a great benefit in karate becoming the official military martial art, as it could bring prosperity back to Okinawa, or at least could give many unemployed Okinawan karate masters a new source of income. He decided karate needed to be updated, so it could be used in a military setting. To do this, he developed a series of five kata called Pinan Shodan, Nidan, Sandan, Yondan and Godan. Funakoshi would later rename them Heian, but we'll go deeper into that some other time. I'd like to pause this little history lesson to give you the chance to think about all the kata you know and try and find where some of the moves of the more advanced kata appear in the Pinan series. I'll give some hints like Pasai, Kushanku, Wanshu, but there are a lot more. Feel free to put some examples of what you know down below, and while you're there, a sub would be exemplary. As he created this simplified series of kata based on the moves of legendary kata, he noticed a new use for them. He was now able to standardize kata for teaching it in schools. So in 1901, he started teaching karate in an elementary school in Shuri. This was unexpected for the Okinawan public, as up to that moment, karate was a deadly, secretive, Hush hush martial art. It was like he was teaching children how to fire guns or to become assassins. But Itosu was looking at the bigger picture. In a few years he was allowed to teach karate in a prefectural high school and later at the Okinawa's teacher's college. This led to karate appearing on the radar of the Japanese again, paving the way for its exodus out of Okinawa into Japan and later the world. So next time you're practicing Pinanidan again, <laughs> Be thankful, because if it wasn't for that impractical series of kata with all those hikite, deep illogical stances and whatever else critique you may think of, you would have never been practicing karate today. We owe Master Itosu a great debt of gratitude. Now that's in short the history of the Pinan Kata series. Did you know about the influence it had and still has on you as a martial artist? What's your favorite Pinan Kata? Comment below, let me know. Click the logo to subscribe and here to watch me perform the Pinan Kala. Let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, before I forget, jokes about German sausage are the worst.